Hey guys, it's Glenn from GlennCarCollection.com and today we're going to talk about the Porsche Carrera T. This is one of my favorite 991.2 Porsches outside, of course, the GT3. Now in this video, we're going to talk about is the Carrera T going to be a future collectible? Remember, if you like these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We post at least three videos a week every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern, sometime even five videos a week. Like and share this uh, video so our channel can grow, and as always, leave your thoughts in a positive comment below. All right, so the Carrera T is one of my favorite 991.2 Porsches. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. And then at the end of the video, after I give you all the facts, we're gonna decide if this can be a future collectible. Well, what's great about the Carrera T, it is actually a low price for a 911 because it's based on the base model. Now it has a couple things standard on this car that you can't get on the base model, like the Porsche torque vectoring, lower gear ratios, uh, a fancy interior, what they call the Carrera T interior, and of course, uh, those wonderful stripes on the bottom that say 911 Carrera T. You also have lightweight glass in the back and the, and the back rear glass from the GT2 RS. Though the downside of that, you have no rear defroster, which I would certainly uh, need living in the uh, Northeast. Couple downsides to the car. It's really not so much a lightweight, uh, lightweight model. It saves you anywhere from 11 to 44 pounds. We'll take what we can get as far as weight savings goes, but uh, it has the base brakes of the base 911, since that's what it's based on. You don't have the S model brakes, but good news is you can optional the carbon uh, ceramic brakes. And it's not really much cheaper. It's an, essentially an expensive base model because the Carrera T is priced above the base model and only $3,000 under the S model, which gives you 50 more horsepower. Now, most people, maybe not purists like me or really hardcore car enthusiasts, would probably rather spend the extra $3,000 and have the extra power of the Carrera S. Now this car has 370 horsepower and basically the 991.2 engines, uh, they're basically the same three liter flat six, but they have bigger turbos. Obviously the bigger cars like the S and the GTS have more horsepower, but because they have bigger turbos, they actually have more turbo lag. So when you drive this car, it actually drives fantastic because there's very little turbo lag. If you didn't know anything about cars and I let you drive this car, you would probably think it's a normally aspirated engine. You probably have, to, you do have to listen pretty close to hear the turbo noise. Now, will it be a future collectible? Well, first of all, to be a future collectible, typically like the BMW 1M or the NSX, original NSX, it has to be a hot car when it comes out. People are paying over sticker and trying to get one. So that's true with the, a Carrera T. A lot of people paid over sticker. There weren't that many allocations to begin with. And the next thing would be for a collectible car would be production number. They actually built a lot more GT3s, 991.2 GT3s, than they built Carrera Ts. They built less than 600 Carrera Ts here in the United States. I believe the exact number is 585, give or take. Right now in the 991.2, before the 992s came out, the GT3 was actually the most popular model. So they built more GT3s than Carrera S's. They built more GT3s than base Carreras. They built more GT3s than GTS's. You get the picture. Now, of course, now I'm not gonna lie, my favorite, if I can buy, if I had your money, I would buy the GT3 manual, 991.2. That'd be my first choice. I've driven it with a four liter engine, 500 horsepower, it's to die for. But if I'm spending my own money, to me, this is like the ultimate uh, road car where the GT3 is a track car you can drive on the street. This is the ultimate road car and you can get these cars for bad. I've seen them brand new and there's no new ones anymore from 108 to 120,000. So I do not sure they're gonna be a collectible car. Uh, I'd say the jury's still out on that one because the 992 will have another Carrera T, but this could be higher if this is only available in uh, manual because with the 991.2 cars, you can get a manual or a PDK. So figure about half of them had PDK, half had manuals. So I think there is a choice uh, or is a chance for the manual cars to go up in value. I don't think the PDK cars will because you're kind of stuck in 2018, 2019, which are the only two model years they were produced here. So I think you have to get a manual transmission and I think they're gonna depreciate a lot slower than certainly a base. The base depreciates a lot faster, but I don't think they'll be collectible anytime soon. It could be 20 years but I wouldn't hesitate buying one because they are that good. 
Thanks for subscribing. Hit that notification bell, like, and share this video, and I will see you next time.